Hello there everyone, Ms. Sala here from Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I sure am. I'm out here visiting my auntie and uncle and I'm out here in their fruit orchard and vegetable farm slash garden. It's beautiful. They grow all sorts of amazing food, uh, fruits and vegetables. So I love it here. I love visiting here. They inspire me. They're such in inspiration to a lot of people. And we come here to harvest in the fall and the summer. They share the their food that they grow with family and friends. And they actually sell their garlic that they grow to a local farmer's market. So it's pretty amazing out here. And I hope that you guys enjoy watching or seeing their garden as well as I do and I don't think you'll be disappointed so here it is guys oh it's already sticking out of the dirt it's so big okay so we're entering the garden lots of flowers corn beans peas let's see beets down there I think some more kale but we're gonna go around there's a couple of our greenhouses we'll take a look at that later so I just want to walk you through what's growing as we walk down this path. We got some garlic to the left, some peas on the right there, and some corn, lots of beans. And this is where I harvested the kale. Uh, I'm going to be taking home for smoothies or kale towards the back. Let me zoom in here. So there's a, probably, I think, three types of variety of kale. Oops and some collard, collard greens towards the back row and some broccoli so as you can see you can overlook everything here so back that way there's some corn over here but they already harvested their garlic they planted some elephant garlic and i think just regular garlic rock and bowl or purple stripe i'll show you the garlic some of the garlic harvest give you another angle of all the kale and broccoli on this row here and there's some zucchinis on to the right. See all those zucchini plants? Here, I think most of them are beets. All the way to the other end. It's a long row of beets, and that's where we harvested a couple of them. So a lot of these are going to seed. So she'll be saving me some seeds. There's the corn. Oh, there's a couple ears of corn there. All the, these here are beans on those bamboo poles. I want to show you this, these beans real quick. These are called fava beans. They're really, these are big pods. They almost look like the pea pods. So I guess these are good in, in soups. I've never had them before. And so this is the first time that she's planted them. So she's gonna have a lot of these beans. They're kind of neat looking. In this greenhouse, she's got some peppers, eggplants. I think she's got a couple eggplants over there and up towards the back. Bitter melon, these are all, all bitter melon. I remember eating a lot of these in the Philippines. So, some tomatoes. Here's another greenhouse with some more bitter melon and peppers. And some of the plants that she's letting go to seeds. There's also I want to show you here. There's a yellow jacket nest. So these are beneficial insects and they help with pollination and they also eat some um, unwanted bugs. Insects such as caterpillars and other pests. So she's the only one left. Zena, her friend passed away. Got sick, I guess. She loves to eat kale. That's her favorite. So we go out here and feed her kale. I On the other side of her property, they have some apple trees, pears, let's see, plums, blueberry bushes. And some of these apples, she had grafted some different varieties of apple branches onto these trees. So some of the apple trees will actually have three or four varieties of apples. Look at all these apples, so yummy. I think these are honey crisp, she said. She told me earlier, uh, it's bearing a lot of fruit. As you can see, these are one of my favorite apples. Here are some of the garlic that they're curing right now. Look at these elephant garlic, they're beautiful. They're huge. They're as big as a softball. <laughs> Maybe a little bigger, but we got them hanging here. Look at all this garlic. I am taking a bunch home. It's a lot. This is just some of them. They got a whole Hi bunch. Hi guys, we're home now. We just wanted to share with you our harvest that we took home from my auntie and uncle's garden. But check this out. My uncle gave me this bunch of garlic 
and I'm not sure how many is in there. I am so grateful. Look how beautiful they look. They have that purple tint or striping to it, so I'm not sure if it's a purple stripe or the rock and bowl variety. But anyway, I'm gonna be saving some of these cloves for planting in the fall. I'm holding the camera, so bear with me. So let me show you the beet. One of this, the beet that we harvest is huge. Bigger than a softball. Can you see that? The greens on the beet you can put in smoothies as well as you can stir fry them and cook them up. Now the root part here, it's also good for steaming and also for smoothies. So you can chop it up and put it in there since it's got the, you know, slightly sweet flavor to it. So very healthy, you know, full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. So the rest of the beets that we harvested. Also some fingerling potatoes, Yukon and Red. So I'm gonna plant some of those fingerling potatoes when it gets a little cooler for harvest in the fall. The fingerling potatoes look like fingers. <laughs> they I do, think, don't they? I think that's why they're called fingerlings. Yes, you're right. And there's about three varieties of kale in here and colored greens. The bamboo that my uncle and I harvested and cleaned up here. They're about 10 to 12 feet tall. So these are great for making a trellis for your peas and beans. And I'm so glad I got some of these for free because they're pretty pricey at the store, especially for this size. These are great bamboo. They'll be great quality. They should last me a while. I wanted to show you guys a closer look of these garlic that we harvested from my auntie and uncle's garden. So I believe after doing some reading, these are rock and ball garlic and they're, they are hard neck. So they have, they have the escape that you can eat. But also as you peel back on the skin, see if first you have this off white tan skin and as you peel, peel them back, you'll get this purple stripes on them. I opened one up here for you. Oop, there you go. It's not beautiful. Look at that. So the rock and pole garlic are known for its very intense flavor and spiciness. So even the medicinal properties are somewhat stronger than the traditional white garlic that we see at the grocery store. I think those might be silver skins. So, but anyway, or porcelain. But they smell really good. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in with us at Learn to Grow. Also, I hope that you enjoyed this episode today. It was a great time and it was beautiful out there, refreshing and happy that I got to take some vegetables home. So I'm really grateful for my auntie and uncle. They're awesome people. They're wonderful. So, and they're a great inspiration to many. Now, also, we are on Facebook, so I just want to remind you, you can follow us there as well. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful growing season and a great summer. So we'll see you again soon and have a good day. Bye-bye.